you are now tuned into Difficult People Chronicles. I'm seriously focused. Johnny, SF Johnny. Today's topic is called GPS. Thank you all for tuning in. So for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, I want to inform you all that I try not to go into politics, but this message today ties into politics some kind of how. So today's episode is called GPS. And the meaning of GPS is God's placement setup. Now, originally, I was going to call it God's positioning system. But then when I looked it up on the internet, I saw it was already taken. And I was just like, I'm going to come up with my own. So this is mine. It's called God's placement setup because I didn't see it anywhere. What came to me some time ago, and for those that are new, when I get messages, I don't deliver them right away. Sometimes the messages is for me. Sometimes it's for other people. But I like to let the messages unfold. So I could give you more because that's the way God operates in my life. Um, so the first morning, what, I, what came to me when I woke up was the enemy wants you to fear him. So immediately I kind of got, I was a little bothered. Why? Because I was just like, what is this about? And is this about me? Now I got out of bed, got down on my knees and I prayed. I prayed against that, the dream, prayed about other things you know my routine not gonna say what I said but it was about me and then I got up grabbed my towel started going to pull out my clothes and go take a shower and I started laughing why because in reality and I've been saying this since I was a kid the only one I fear is God I don't fear no man and I don't fear no woman only one I fear is God then I would say the next day what came to me in a dream was pray for the nation. So I said, what's going to happen now? You know, so I got down on my knees and I prayed for the nation. Now, then I got up and then I turned on the TV and then turned on the news because I know that there's been, there was talk about Ukraine and Russia, but at the time nothing happened. So I just, I said that prayer and then I said another little prayer like throughout the day. Then later on, I came home and I watched a little bit of the news. I couldn't really get into it because it, you know, messes with me mentally. So I turned it off, turned on something else. What came to me the next morning was that when I was told to pray for a nation, you pray for the nation, you pray for the people in the nation, like individual lives, because each person is going through battles and some are going through spiritual warfare. Now, when I say battles, I mean little battles, like it might be drama in the household like nonsense and then you have spiritual warfare where people are really going through a battle battle you know the enemy trying to take their soul trying to do all sorts of craziness and like I said what came to me was that the enemy's goal is to destroy you you have to stay close to God now the next day I had a dream and in this dream I was pulling my mother in the room and I was pulling her hair and I was pulling her there and I was just like come on and I was angry not really angry I was agitated and I was like we're gonna be late we're gonna be super late like this is ridiculous and x y and z so then when I woke up my alarm went off my alarm was late like well it was late because I said it at the wrong time anyway I didn't really pray against the dream because in my heart I said I'm gonna be late why because her appointment was 10 o'clock and I was waking up at 9 43 <laughs> I had to take a shower brush my teeth pin my hair up put my clothes on add lotion to my body or Vaseline if you want to say because it's cold outside so I had a lot going on and I left late <laughs> and then when she got in the car we were on we got on 95 95 was congested which I kind of already knew I didn't make a fuss. I didn't get annoyed. I didn't get angry. My mother said, why didn't you turn on the GPS? I was like, I don't know. And during that time, I just turned on the radio, connected my Bluetooth and started listening to the sermon about spiritual warfare. Only thing I remember the pastor saying is that he said, you can pray anywhere, anytime, any position on your knees, prostrate position, standing up, walking around, any time of the day, anywhere. And then I turned on my GPS. This man let me in and I went all the way to the far right, got off the highway because that's where the GPS took me. Started right in the strip. 
I rode, I would say, three, four blocks. And then the GPS put me right back on the highway further down. And I said, ain't this something? The GPS took me off to put me right back on. And my mother started laughing. She said, yeah, but there's no traffic. And I looked through my rear view mirror and I didn't see no traffic. (laughs) How about that? Got to my mother's appointment. started going through my phone and... She was like, where are we? And then when she looked around, she said, we here already? And I said, yeah. And she said, and we're early. And I said, yep, we were 15 minutes early. I don't ask. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't question it. I don't know if the clock was wrong. I don't know if I woke up and my eyes just saw what I saw and the alarm clock went off the wrong time. I can't tell you. All I know is her appointment was at 10 o'clock and I swore I woke up at 943. Then, when I got to the appointment, we were sitting down in the chairs and before she goes inside for her appointment. And I said to my moms, I said, you know, when we were driving, what I saw was the book of Revelations. And I said to her, God said, man wrote the book, but I, God, who created all, can change the narrative. And there are stories where I did just that changed what I said. Believe in me. I'm going to repeat what I just said to you. God said, man wrote the book, but I, God who created all, can change the narrative. And there are stories where I did just that. Changed what I said. Believe in me. There are people, like I said, going through spiritual warfare. Some going through small battles. And then you have people going through things in Ukraine and people going through things in Russia. And I'm talking about the people in Russia that don't want to fight. They want peace. God is your GPS. God is your placement setup. Meaning, meaning, even if you've made the wrong decision, business, marriage, became friends with someone you were skeptical about, any situation, any situation, meaning if you were in a situation and for some reason you just wanted to leave the situation the area get out you don't know what to do God will reroute you putting you back on track he will reroute you meaning whatever position the enemy tried to put you in to kill your spirit kill your position take over your life control you you will come out better than before you will come out of the storm the hard times will become a thing of the past Days later, when I got home and I flipped on the TV to turn on the news, I said, wow. Because when I saw what was going on with Ukraine and Russia, I said, keep up the fight. Because people nowadays, they're not trying to start trouble. They want peace. They want a peace of mind. They want peace in their life. They want to be happy. And there's a lot of people out there that are miserable and depressed or They just miserable, trying to make your life miserable. And their depression is due to not being able to make your life miserable. Like they get angry. They get fixated on what you're doing because their sole intended goal is to control you. Keep up the fight because the enemy is a spoiled brat, a spoiled brat. And when you think about it, all that jealousy, envy, trying to take your position, trying to be who you are, being a monitoring spirit, following you all over the place, trying to know what you're doing, what you eat, what you look like, how your hair look, how you think, how you smell, who you dating, what your marriage life look like, what you got on your feet, how can you afford the house, how can you afford the car, how can you afford to buy all these things for your kids, how you afford to, how can you afford to eat at all them expensive restaurants, the enemy is a spoil brat, a spoil brat, and one thing I got to stand on is, that's my favorite chapter in the Bible for right now, for right now, is Exodus 14, I'm not going to tell you about what it is, but that's how God, God handled the enemies. I want you to read it. That's why I'm not going to tell you about it. 
Exodus 14. Yep. God. God will put the enemies under your footstool. And when I was talking to a person who's like a brother to me, and I can't tell you what he said because that's confidential, but he said something to me, for me, which is confidential. In due time, I will tell you about it, but for right now, I'm not going to say anything. And it was interesting. I said to him that Exodus 14, God will take care of the enemies. God will have someone part the sea and, and bring back the waters to drown the enemies and kill off all of them. And he said, well, let's not say that. I said, you have a heart like what I used to have, because even though people used to do me dirty like real dirty. not to say they're not doing me dirty now but they did me real dirty back then you know and I at that time I still didn't want to see anything bad happen to them and I still don't wish bad on them but what God is going to do to the enemy is not me wishing or hoping it's facts read Exodus 14 because what came to me yesterday verbatim was that that one time is going to be your last time and that's the message for the enemy that one time is going to be the last time and that's what I was telling my cousin today on the phone there are people got enemies out there some of you all got enemies out there you know who this enemy is and this enemy continues to torment you continue to do things and they've been doing things to you and other people and been getting away with it that it's like a game board of life like they could just keep doing it and play and they think there's no repercussions well let me tell you this God said verbatim that one time is going to be the last time so that means whatever they doing they're going to do it one more time. And that one more time is going to be the last time. And something is going to happen. So whoever this is for, email me. I would love to hear the story. Because these people out here, these enemies, is doing too much. Too much. And and what I got from this whole, all these dreams all together, was that whatever plot, plan, scheme, sacrifice spell evil thinking evil wishful thinking meaning the evil thoughts that they wish would happen is gonna backfire because they've been getting away with it far too long and this is the year that like i said those at the bottom is gonna rise to the top this is the year of restoration so everything that's been hidden lost and stolen is gonna be restored back to its rightful owner and the enemy is gonna get arrested it's gonna happen however you want to however look however it resonate that's exactly what's gonna happen whatever they stole from you your godly character like they went and trashed your name and all these people believe what they said or they stole money from you or they just doing things behind the scenes in the dark you know when nobody is looking spells and witchcraft mm-hmm. god's gonna come for them he's going to restore everything back to his rightful owner mm -hmm. and the enemy is going to get arrested so your homework exodus 14 don't say i never told you that's your homework don't act like you're too busy that you can't do it it's simple a lot of people got phones pull it up on your cell phone exodus 14 and read how god handled the enemies and i forgot i want you all the same way i did to pray for the nation that's the episode for today because yeah that's what came to me and the other thing is that i got like 500 plus episodes that i wanted to air you know i just whatever comes to mind i write it down i write it down i write it down and <laughs> i haven't even touched the surface that's a good thing but that means i got a lot to to educate you all on yeah so so that's it for today, you all. For suggested topics, email me, sfj.peace at gmail.com. Check out my store. Check me out on YouTube. Like and subscribe. For a one-on-one -on -one session, hit me up on my website. All the links is underneath. Love me more and I love you more. God bless.